Okay, well, I feel very lucky to be here with the extremely talented Lucas and Steven. You guys okay? Yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah, we've got a performance coming up later. We do. How are you enjoying Move It 2014 so far? Um, we're really enjoying it. It's crazy. Crazy. But um, I love Move It because it's all things dance. And yes. um, that's a huge opportunity for the dance industry in the UK. So Move It. Yeah, it great. feels like a lot of people come together. There's a lot of different styles. Now, you're company which I'm extremely big fan of like oh, I've seen your videos on YouTube seeing it. and uh, so what um what is your company about in, in your words like what do you aim for uh, like what kind of thing concept is it about uh, so Untitled is basically a collective uh, of friends and dancers that take our class uh, and we really utilize their strengths and weaknesses so if right. they're not so technical we'll use a lot of their like hip-hop background or just basically just who they are as a dancer we use that in the company. So, so it doesn't matter so much if it's so technical, it's more about the character yeah, and bringing a character out. training everybody to eventually be at one level, but right now everybody's so scattered, so it's just a collective of friends and great people. That's actually nice. See, you don't hear that too often. It sounds like you bring their characters out and make them feel yeah, good about what they can do. Yeah, so individual. So and that, that, the individual dancer is what inspires us. Yeah. Like, especially in today's industry, it's yeah. all about stereotype and commercial dancing is quite put into how people look and, and fitting yeah. a certain mold. We're inspired by talent and individuals, and that's such a beautiful thing. And we want to bring that into the media, in TV, in film, because that's what should be showcased. As dancers are artists, not just objects, and we want to bring that to the forefront. Wow, preached it. Yeah, Do you think there's uh, quite a divide then between the commercial industry and dancers? And because what you said is like they come to class, and it's a collective of the people that come to class. Do you yeah. think that's important? Do people lose that? Is there a separation between troops and groups and commercial dancers? Yeah, I think people just lose the passion for dance when it it's just about work yep. and it's about paying the bills and that's fine if you want to do that but we want to dance as well as make money from that. So. And, and, and work creatively and not be step touching yeah. like like we we want to be able to have creative freedom and have that be appreciated and, yeah. and, and collaborate with artists like so not just dance behind them yeah um, because we are artists as well um, yeah so the people we've chosen the people who flew all over from Europe for our audition like we have amazing talented individuals who yeah. help us and inspire us in our creation so that's our piece tonight like kind of centers around that as well and, and every dancer is individual um, as well as how music kind of influences us and how it is our driving factor in what we do. Right, so you bring in all the elements to get, it's true. Yeah, it's yeah. well it is. Yeah, yeah. That's, so um, I mean that's inspiring, it makes us want to know what you guys are up to, what's your future plans, is there anything in the pipeline that maybe you can tell us about what you're up to? Um, <laughs> You may or may not see us on um, a TV show that I have currently or past been on. Um, so yeah, this next season of Got to Dance, look out for maybe Untitled Audition. Amazing. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak for us today. I look forward to seeing your pieces over uh, the weekend. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great time here. Cheers, thank man. you for your time. Check it out. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.